I've been keeping journals for 20 years of dreams and visions and signs and wonders, mostly mine and some of others, and using the Hebrew and the Greek to glean these dreams and visions. I want to share a dream with you that I had July 29th of this year. The dream was I was out in a country setting and I was across a uh, two lane road looking at a clapboard house setting amongst some trees, looked like an acre or two of land. And I noticed uh, you had to go up the stairs uh, to the house. It was built up off the ground like a, a basement or very high foundation. And I remember a group of people coming out of it. Black stood out to me. I thought when I wrote the dream down, uh, was it because they all had black hair? Or one of them had black hair or black suits. Um, but in the dream, after I saw that, there was a field beside this house. I didn't see another house. Most of these houses were far apart from one another. But in this field next to this house, across the road from me, I saw a bunch of pigeons flying at me. And as they flew at me toward the other side of the road, as I'm looking up, I noticed that there's one right in the middle that's white, like a dove, a turtle dove, pigeon turtle dove. It's different than all the others. And at the same time, all these little children are running toward me. And they're running underneath these pigeons, these turtle doves, these doves. At one point, one little girl stops. And she speaks to me, and I couldn't tell you what she said, but what the Lord let me see in the dream was she had no holes in her nostrils. When I woke up from the dream, um, as many dreams I've had from the Lord that have come to pass, from the DC sniper to the explosion of the space shuttle to the assassination of Rabin uh, and many, many others, uh, you get uh, a tone about these things. And this dream really uh, troubled me. It bothered me. I knew it was the Lord, but it, it, had a, it had a very ominous feeling to it. So right away I go and I write it down and I get in the Hebrew and I go to gleaning uh, the words from road to turtle doves to children. Uh, and eventually I wind up in... Uh, 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 Leviticus 12 to where it's talking about the cleansing of children with a woman male and female and the turtle doves and the priest and and uh, so I write all this stuff down and uh, it uh, is even talking about Holocaust when you glean it in the Hebrew and it had a feeling of Holocaust and uh, I went to the men in the office that day and days after talking to people about the dream, you know, going over it with them and, and telling them, just saying, that, you know, had such a, a Holocaust feeling to it. And, uh, you know, pray, guys. And uh, um, I went on for days and days about that dream. You know, fellas, has the Lord told you anything? Any thoughts on what, what was dreamed? And, and uh, so uh, eventually it didn't come up anymore. Uh the morning of the Sandy uh, Hook uh, a shooting, um, uh, as this thing began to develop and unfold, uh, that same ominous feeling uh, that I had in my soul after that dream, I began to have uh, 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 in my in my soul that day. And as these things begin to play out, and after a few days finding that. Uh, uh, they were all first graders that were killed in a, in, in a two-room area. And that's the size of these children that were running across this field and across this road to where I was at. And these birds were flying, these pigeons, these turtle doves. Um, that all of these children, all 20 of these children were killed in that uh, two-room area. And that when they uh, stopped the lockdown and opened the door, this one little girl ran out that was covered in blood from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. And 
her pastor and the people related the way that she did this. She played dead. And people asked the pastor, how did this little girl have the understanding to be able to do it? And the pastor said, divine intervention is all that I can say for her to have the understanding to do that. And, you know, the little girl that spoke to me in the dream, it didn't have the air holes. Whenever you play dead, you try not to breathe. And I can just tell you that. And by the way, her pastor, when I listened to him talk, he had such a thick accent. He sounded to me like a born again Jew anyway, on top of all of this. But uh, I can tell you when he said that it was divine intervention that saved her, it was. But it was intercession. It was God's people interceding everywhere. And I can tell you all over the earth, there were other people that God had given the warning and, and, and the dreams and the visions that they could pray and intercede over this deal. And whatever's going on in America right now, Christian, remember that our God is God. And above the name of Jesus, there's no other name. The Bible says that the demons tremble at the name of Jesus. And there's no other name given in heaven and earth by which a man may be saved. So with all this going on, uh, the hatred of Christians and the murdering of them by uh, radical Islam and the hatred of the people of Jesus. Uh, Jesus is Lord. And he is the ruler of all the earth. And he is our king, and he's king of the Jews. Jesus is Lord. 